Is it is it hard is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money or can you still pull it off? See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't got no sauce, then you, you, you're lost. Mm -hmm. But you also get lost in the sauce. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for another video. We're just chilling here in the shop like every day, Monday through Friday. Uh, good old uh, Geo is going ahead and wiring up a fan relay for this Integra. I put the ramps to the side. I do this every once in a while. That way it makes a little bit more room in the shop um, when I'm not using the dyno. But it is kind of a pain in the butt loading them all up. But it is what it is. Gives us a little bit more room in the shop. I'm about to uh, weld up an exhaust on this EF. And Alyssa is actually going ahead and prepping the turbo, uh, or yeah, she's prepping the paint for the stock to fully built in turbo Civic. So as you can see there, she's got the bumpers, everything off, just getting the engine bay ready and we're gonna go ahead and paint it. We're gonna do it after hours, that way all the cars are out of here and we can just go ahead and spray her down. So you can see she's just moving stuff out. She got the headlights out, got the bumpers off. How you doing? I'm doing good. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Well, she's just getting all that prepped uh, while she's doing that. She should have that all done. So then once we close up, we can get it on the lift. I can drop the struts, all that stuff. And then we can start uh, painting it. So that'll be fun. I probably will upload that in the next video, not this one, because that is uh, probably gonna take a little bit of time. We might not do it tonight. We might do it tomorrow. So we'll see what happens. But anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and put the camera down and get to work. So wait, this thing actually looks right. I had to cut over here. I had to cut that joint and move it up, mark it, move it up. Cause it was, I, I should've showed you guys how it looked before, but it was like hanging down like this. So I cut it, moved it up, welded it. Then I had to add about another inch right there, right there. I had to add about an inch or about two inches there. That way it would sit farther back but it looks good. Got a hanger on it. It does need probably two more hangers. Customer just doesn't have it. And it also needs the O-ring gasket for right here. So once they get that, we will be uh, good to go and it will be nice and quiet. It's already 10 times quieter than when it came in. It was leaking, obviously it was leaking there, leaking there, and it was leaking right there as well. So it was loud, loud, loud. Uh, I know Gio, before he we went to lunch, he finished the uh, fan relay. Looks like all that is nice and done. Now he's outside working on this EP3. Let's go check on him, see how he's doing. Yo! What you doing? I'm um, here putting the water housing, the pipe, getting ready to put the harness and the radiator and the intake manifold. And we'll give you guys a video when we get it cranked up and we'll show you how it drives. Nice. Yeah, we'll get on the dyno and everything too. Um, tune this sucker. I really, now that I finished that exhaust, I really need to get on to this Challenger over here. It's the V6 Turbo Challenger. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy on the dyno here. About, uh, I'll probably eat my lunch first. We'll go ahead and get on the dyno and I'm gonna tune it, see what it makes. I just went ahead and finished my lunch. Went ahead and cleaned up the shop a little bit. Got the Challenger. I think this is a Challenger. Challenger, Charger. I always get them confused. I just tune them, work on them. Um, but anyways, so this car, we actually tune it off of map. I think they have the ability to tune them off of uh, speed density, like volumetric efficiency, like Hondas and everything. Um, but they have the ability to tune it off of map, which is really, really, really awesome because it makes the tuning process for fuel extremely, extremely easy. What it does is the MAF sensor actually detects the temperature of the air going across it to let you know what your fuel to air is gonna be, which is so awesome. It literally, with like the Camaros, Corvettes, anything LS that I've tuned in the past, I literally can get the fuel dialed in as long as the car's not having any issues in like minutes, like 10 minutes max. You may go through it two or three times to change what you need, take away this, so forth, but it makes it so much easier. I know a lot of the newer Hondas, you can tune them off of map as well. I haven't, I still use speed density on those just because it's what I'm used to with the Honda world. Um, but when I went to school for a GM and LS, I learned map, which is super, super easy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and play with the fuel table. 
Uh, this car has already previously been tuned, um, so it, I guess it was up north and it came down here. So you want to get a retune. So I probably shouldn't have. I probably shouldn't have to fix much unless it was like high in elevations. He was. So we'll see. We'll see what we're working with. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, dial her in, mess with their fuel, and then I'll start doing some pulls. So let's go. So last pull there, we only made 255 horsepower. Uh, I'm not sure why, it's got seven, it was making seven pounds of boost. So this V6 on seven pounds of boost should definitely be making a lot more than 300, I would say personally. Uh, so we gotta figure out why that is. I took a data log, everything looked decent. Um, I've tried giving it more timing, tried taking away more timing and not seeing any uh, huge jump in power anywhere. So I'm just going to keep messing with it, see what we got. Definitely something mechanical, so I'll have to figure it out. Just the fun of tuning cars. You think tuning cars is all a computer? Definitely not. I'd say more than half of tuning is diagnosing these suckers. Because just because the car is on the dyno does not mean all the problems it had went away automatically like before they got here. They're all still here. So not complaining, it just comes with the trade. Just got to diagnose stuff. Fun, fun, fun. So, we're gonna figure it out. Keep going with it. All right, so after a bunch of diagnosing, I think, I think my neighbor's about to rip it. That 350Z that you guys, it's totally off topic, but you know that 350Z that you guys saw on the dyno, like, I don't know, it was like a couple weeks ago or a month ago. Um, every time, like at night, usually around this time, what is it, like seven o'clock? Yeah. He'll just go out and rip it, and I think we caught him. Let's uh, let's watch this real fast. So I think they're having some technical difficulties. Let me go see if I can be of assistance. Y'all need a pro's hand? Huh? Y'all need a real pro's hand over here? No. What's going on? Like William. You still have what issue? You're having some type of issue with it before. Right there. Just dies on you. I have the scan tool. Good one. Snap on. We can scan it. He thinks it needs to put it in the throttle body. The throttle? Did you just replace it? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Can we go grab the scanner? Yeah. I'll be right back. Alright, so I'm going to let them use the scanner, try to figure it out, see what's going on with it. I guess it's just like dying at idle. Like it'll just sit there and die out. So while they're figuring that out, we're going to go ahead and close up the shop. We finally got a good amount of cars out. But when we went and got a bunch of cars out, we got a whole bunch more cars that came in. So as you can see, got a full lineup here. We finally cleared this area. My guy next door was kind of complaining a little bit. Shout out to my buddy Chad. Love you, man. Uh, but I was, our cars were way over and it was really hard for them to move their trailer and stuff. So I feel really good. It's like ripping off a band-aid. I got all this clear, clear area. I only got two cars in the shop right now. So 
yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and clean up the shop, and then I'll go ahead and grab the computer from them. We'll go ahead and call it a day. But as always, guys, go ahead and like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace. Is it, is, it hard, is it hard to be fresh if you don't have money, or can you still pull it off? See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. See, if you don't got no sauce, then you, 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 you're lost. Mm -hmm.